Hey guys, we're staying at the Flamingo Las Vegas this time. There's a lot to check out. Let's head in. guys I'm really excited to share the Flamingo with you today one of my favorite hotels here in Las Vegas and one that is full of a ton of history opened all the way back in 1946 it was the third hotel to open here on the strip and today is the oldest that is still in operation obviously it has gone through tons of renovations over the years that has turned it into a very multi-faceted facility something you'll see with its over 72,000 square foot casino space Space and over 3,400 hotel rooms. That casino space, like a lot of the hotel itself, is very multifaceted with tons of table games, craps, roulette, pretty much any type of slot you could think of you'll probably find here. I also love the fact that on each side of the main casino area is two large entrances to the hotel, giving it a much more bright and airy feel than a lot of the casinos here on the Strip. Other than that casino space itself, for the restaurants here at the Flamingo, the main one you'll find is Carlos and Charlie's. Great spot for tacos and margaritas and other Mexican food, and also has a fun two-for-one happy hour deal throughout the week. Other than Carlos and Charlie's, there's not a ton of other restaurant or food options here other than like Nook Express for like breakfast items and coffee and that sort of thing. Where there formerly was a buffet, they are now in the process of working on a future location of Havana 1957. If you're in a Cuban food at all, if you've ever been to South Beach in Miami, you might know a little bit something about it and their big yummy Cuban sandwiches. So that'll be a fun spot to check out and show you guys when it opens up. If you continue down the hall towards the back of the Flamingo, another option that you'll find is the spa. So if you're looking for a little bit of self-care while here, that's an option for you. If you continue going down that way further to the back, you'll find the entrance to the pickup and drop-off zone for Uber and other ride share. And you'll also, going up the escalators that lead to the parking garage, find an entrance to the monorail station for the Flamingo, which is another great way of getting around the strip if you don't want to just walk everywhere. Anyways, let's go get our keys, check out the room, let's go. Take a look at the room. We're in one of the renovated flamingo rooms with two queens and a slight upgrade to a strip view. The flamingo room is one step above the slightly cheaper fab and go rooms here at the flamingo, but it's still one of the best cheaper options here on the Vegas Strip and a long time personal favorite of mine when it comes to more budget-friendly options. The renovations have given the room a very modern feel to it, while still keeping touches of its history, like the flamingo on the lamp and the flamingos in the paintings, although it also has a very minimalist feel to it. Sometimes a little bit too much to the extreme. For example, when it comes to these beds that are plush but very bare bones with only one pillow on each of them, although there's two small extra pillows in the closet. Another thing I really like about this modern renovation, the multiple USB outlets available on both sides of the nightstand and also on the side of the TV console where you can also find plugins for music and connecting things to the TV and that sort of thing. If you're somebody that really likes to unpack all your items when you're on vacation, another thing you'll find on the TV console on the left side is ample storage for any clothing or items. And also in the middle one, underneath the safe and more 
in several drawers for the nightstand and then even more storage in a small dresser in the closet where you can also find about six hangers if there's clothing items you want to hang up and also some nice automatic lighting that turns on when you open the closet. And while you won't find a coffee maker, which is actually pretty unusual in strip hotels, they have the ice bucket and a few paper cups, something I think you will like and appreciate, and I know I certainly do. They include a mini fridge under the final cabinet of the TV console, which is not all too common, whether it's a mini bar that you can't use for your own personal items or they just don't have any at all. It's nice to actually have that option for leftovers or any other items that you may have with you. From there, if you're trying to get ready to go out, you might want to stop by the mirror on this adjoining door to the neighboring room, but you can use it for is having a nice view of yourself before you go out. The bathroom itself is keeping with the rest of the very modern minimalist renovations. Has very simple basic aesthetics but ones which I really appreciate like the halo lighting around the mirror giving you a great view of yourself while getting ready and then they have all the basics you would need. They come in those dispensers instead of like the little mini bottles. You know, the shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and lotion next to the sink. I also really like the shower in the Flamingo bathroom because they provide a little ledge for you as well for any items that you may want to put down while showering or just whatever. Nice little touch. I like little extra things like that. So that's the Flamingo room at the Flamingo. I really like it. I'll give you more info on the cost and my final thoughts later on, but for now, there's a lot of cool stuff that I want to check out here at the hotel and take you guys along with me. So, without much further ado, let's get ready to go. I think it's pool time. Let's go. So I wasn't able to bring my camera inside with me, but the main things that I wanted to let you guys know about the pools here at the Flamingo is that the main go pool is a very day clubby pool party type of vibe. It's also really large and expansive, has a grotto on one end of the pool, plenty of day beds and 19 cabanas if that's something you would want to rent. Just a really fun vibe in general, a bar where you can order drinks, some food, like some really good chicken tenders that I love to get. One of my favorites. Overall, I just think it's one of the more underrated day club spots when it comes to pools on the Vegas Strip. But if that isn't something that you're looking for when it comes to pools, they also have a second option that's a lot more family friendly located above the main go pool. It has a lagoon with a water slide that goes into it and it's a bit more quiet and relaxing over there. Anyways, after spending some time at the pool, I think it's time to check out a bit more of the hotel. Let's go. Ah. All right, after taking a short break following the pool, I'm now at a great free activity here at the Flamingo. Of course, they have shows over at the Wayne Newton Theater that you could go to, but for something that's nice and different, completely free to do, in the same area where the pool is located further back is the Flamingo Wildlife Habitat. Four acres of gardens full of streams, waterfalls, birds, flamingos, turtles, various fish, open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. You're fully free to just come in, no payment required. Just walk around the various beautiful relaxing gardens that are a bit of an escape from the Las Vegas Strip that is just on the other side of the building. If you're also interested in hearing talks from the keepers of the habitat about the various wildlife here, you can come to their daily 8.30 a.m. or 2 p.m. 
talks that they hold about it. Something very fun, different, and interesting to try out here in Vegas. It's our final day here. We gotta check out in a bit. So let me give you my final thoughts on the Flamingo in the room here. So our three night stay for the room itself was about $470. Friday and Saturday are usually around $150, $170 for the room itself, while on Sunday it's around $70. And that's before things like the resort fee, which tax on another $110 or so for three nights, $45 each. Taxes and fees, obviously, and the self-parking, the slight upgrade for a strip view. So after all of that, it was a little bit over $700 total for the three nights here at the Flamingo. So my pros and cons for staying here, let's talk about those. First of all, I've long loved the Flamingo as being one of my favorite places to stay here on the Strip. I think it's a very multifaceted hotel and resort, and it's also one of the most prominent central locations directly across from Caesars Palace without having to pay Caesars Palace prices. And it's also part of that whole Caesars Rewards ecosystem. You can use your card at any of the restaurants or other things all along here, which a lot of these hotels, Ling, Paris, Caesars, Horseshoe, and Cromwell, the other way are all Caesars properties. So it's all one ecosystem that you can be a part of and you don't have to stay at the Flamingo itself, which as you might have noticed, doesn't have a ton of options for the hotel other than the Carlos and Charlie's place. That's perfectly fine because you're right in the middle of everything else. And the room itself, great value for what you get. I really enjoyed my stay here. Very comfortable, has everything that you would need from the outlets to the fridge. I slept really comfortably on the beds, even with the lack of pillows. And the shower was very nice and relaxing, although it can be a little bit annoying because there's no like sliding glass door or anything like that so the water kind of spills out onto the floor in the bathroom so who should stay here like I was saying this is a very multifaceted resort that I think works for a lot of people for example the pools as you saw they have the adults only go pool which is kind of like a day club while they also have the lagoon with the water slide and very family friendly and more quiet and relaxing I definitely think this hotel and resort would work for groups of friends coming to party if you want to be in the center of all the action couples even families it'll work for a lot of people People that are budget conscious, this is a great option while still having a really nice place to stay right here on the strip. Anyways, I didn't show quite as much as I normally do this time around in one of these videos because I actually came here primarily for the Star Trek convention that was going on over at the Rio. But let me know what you thought of the Flamingo and if you have anything you'd want to add about staying here and how you feel about it. And also if you'd want to see me stay at the Rio in the future and review it. And if you have nothing else to say, just say, live long and prosper. And be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already so you can see more in Los Angeles and Las Vegas in the future. But with that, I'll see you later and stay for the bloopers. Thanks. At the Flamingo Las Vegas. <laughs> I'm really just entrance to the <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah. Really? I think I'll transition to the room, so... But what? <laughs> Another thing... While you won't find an ice... <laughs> will like and appreciate, and then I... <laughs> That's pretty much it, other than... Yeah, it was basically it. But the main thing... The main thing... But the main thing... <laughs> I think it's time to go check out some more of the hotel. <laughs> Alright, so after... Let me just flip and pass. That looks good. Another fish. <laughs> Other than the Carlos and Charlies, is that what it is? Yeah. 